cities are not static. They grow. They change, for better or worse. Our cities are where people are heading. And this brings new challenges as they become more crowded, more expensive and more demanding on our resources. Can cities be a better, happier, more environmentally friendly place to live? We think so. Our vision is to transform the engineering of cities by envisioning radical futures where people are happy, resources are used effectively and carbon emissions are reduced. Until we understand what we want our cities to look like in the future though, we can't begin to improve them today. The Livable Cities project is exploring future livable cities. And what we're doing is interpreting livable in three ways. The first is resource security, so living within our resources as provided by the planet. The second is individual and societal well-being, so we're prioritising well-being within the project. And the third is to minimise the damage to the planet, if you like, looking after planetary well-being. It's clear that doing what we're doing and scaling back simply won't work. If we look incrementally to change the way we operate, then we're destined to fail. And that is a forward-looking view. So what we're trying to do with the Livable Cities is envision a future world where we meet our three criteria and then cast back from there to find out what's stopping us getting there. And that will inform the radical engineering that we will then undertake. Livable Cities examines urban living through different lenses to see what factors are most important in creating happy, successful, thriving cities. Through these lenses, we can examine the complex nature of a city in terms of social factors, such as well-being, aspirations and practical things such as getting to work and back. Environmental factors, such as low carbon living and the use of resources such as energy, water and food. Economic factors that encourage alternative ways of living, working, playing and interacting in a stable economy. And governance factors, because we need to know what enables policies and regulations to align to allow our growing cities to thrive and be successful. And of course we need to see if these views can ever be in harmony because there's no point in radically re-engineering a city to be low carbon and economically viable if it simply isn't the kind of place we love to live in. The views from these lenses allow us to analyse cities all over the world. They enable us to see what's working, what's not, but most importantly of all, what we can do about it. And we're not talking about small changes, Livable Cities encourages radical visions of future cities, which, of course, need radical engineering to achieve. The world we're going to be living in is the 21st century, and this is a world which is changing rapidly. So the sort of constants that we had for the 19th and 20th century just don't apply anymore, and engineering must change in order to be able to do that. So what we need to do is to understand the 21st century and then work back from that to see what the engineering needs are so that engineering can actually help to support and change society by meeting society's needs as the world changes in the future. Livable Cities is all about not just studying, but informing, enabling, facilitating, stimulating and challenging. Of course, radical visions require some radical input so we're talking to people who live in cities. We're talking to people who work in cities, whether that's as a health worker, city trader, or busy mum and her children. We need many views of a city. And of course, we're seeking views from people who can contribute their professional views on cities and envision some radical futures along with us. Synthesizing all these factors together is hard, but it's essential we do it well. We need to have discourse with politicians, with commerce, with academics and with society at large to make sure that the cities of the future really happen. And we need to engage with people now who have a contribution to make. We believe that the future can hold cities where well-being is paramount. 
where low carbon living and resource security are achievable via radical visions now and radical engineering to make this alternative future the future. We believe in cities. Do you?